Check out these AI image and video models from Flux and Wan 2.2 to many others you've probably never even heard of. There are so many models available that you can use with this powerful AI tool to generate all kinds of images and videos, including uncensored ones. Hi, my dear friends, and welcome to the Desire channel. Today, I'm going to introduce you to an AI tool and platform that you can use to generate a wide variety of images and videos. You can even create uncensored content. Before we start, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. As always, we'll open Google and search for TensorArt. The first result you see is the TensorArt website. Let's go ahead and open it. This is the homepage of the website. Before you start using the site, click the sign in option in the top right corner. You can sign up with your Google or Discord account, or with your personal email. I'll sign up with my Google account, as I always do. After signing up, you'll be taken to this page, which is your user profile. You can choose a name for yourself, write a description, and then click Save. After that, we'll go back to the home page. As you can see, you have access to a ton of features and different generation tools, like WAN 2.2, Quen image, and so many other models that even I don't know the names of. You can see all the tools here, as well as the images and videos that have been created by other users. I'll open this one. You can see just how high the quality is. You can also get free daily credits, for example, by liking and commenting on posts. As you can see here, I've already received some free credits. I'll leave a comment, and I'll get two more credits for it. Okay, let's start generating. First, click on the Create Image option here. This page will open up. You can see that you get 50 free credits every day just for logging in. In this section, you can see the paid plans. This section here shows all the ways you can earn credits, like liking, commenting, and posting. You can also sign up with other emails to get more free credits. Now, in the Models section, we'll click on this option. Here, you'll see all the available models. I'll scroll down so you can see all of them. I don't know many of these names. There's Quenimage, Flux, Illustration XL, Stable Diffusion, Flux Context, and many more models. I'll choose the Flux 1 model. Then I'll click on the Use Recommend option here. The model is now added. Now, we can add a LoRa by clicking the Add LoRa option. This will open a panel where you can choose many different styles. Think of it as a tool that helps you get to your final image. You can type in here. I'll choose Flux Cinematic. I want to choose another style, too. I'll also select Curvy Body. You can remove your selected styles from here. You can also use this style to create less censored images. Below, you can choose your settings. You can pick from predefined sizes or enter a custom size. Since I want a portrait size, I'll set the height to 1080 and the width to 1920. You have other options as well, like upscaling or adding details to improve the quality. But keep in mind that activating these options will use more credits. In this section, we can write our prompt. I'll write the following phrase for it. Studio portrait with cinematic lighting, a beautiful young woman with a charismatic face wearing a combination of bikini and leotard, soft lighting from the side, dark and deep background. You can use this button to translate your prompt from any language. Clicking this option will enter a random prompt. Activating this option will make the generated image abstract or stylized. And by clicking this button, your prompt will be improved. If you wrote a short prompt, it will be completed to make things easier for you. From this section, you can choose how many images to generate at once. You can generate up to two photos simultaneously, 
but you need the pro version to generate for. Now, let's click on generate and wait for our image to be created. The process takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Let's wait for the image to be made. The image is ready. I'll open it. You can see how real and stunning it is. It's followed all the instructions perfectly. You can download your image from this section. At the top, we have different options, such as image-to-image -image edit, which has become very viral recently, and video generation. I want to use its video generation tool. When we click on this option, it tells us that the WAN 2.2 model will be used, so we'll click on Explore. After clicking, a new page will open for video generation. You can use the text-to-video tool or the image-to-video tool. I'll use the image to video tool. In the image to video section, there are two options, image to video and first and last frame. I'll choose image to video and upload the image we just created from my computer. I'll write a simple prompt for it, girl smiling. You can make a lot of changes here, but I don't want to go into the details. I'll click generate and wait for my video to be created. It will probably take one to two minutes, maybe a little longer, for the video to be generated. It will also deduct 18 credits from my balance. Great! The video is ready. You can see how beautiful and flawless it is. From here, you can choose the video size and quality. I chose the same size as my original image. You can also select the frame rate from here, I'll leave it at 16. From this section, you can choose the duration, which is between 3 and 8 seconds. The video I created is 3 seconds long. You can also choose a higher quality here, but be aware that it will use a lot more credits. You can download the video from this section. Now, let's go to the other video generation tool, first and last frame. Here. You provide a starting and ending image, and by writing a prompt, it turns them into a video. I have two images on my computer that I'll upload. For my first image, I'll choose the Nike logo, and for the final frame, I'll select a picture of a Nike shoe. I'll set the duration to 8 seconds. Now, I'll write a prompt for it. I'll write that the logo in the first frame, which is Nike, should transform into the shoe as if it were made of smoke. After writing the prompt, I'll go to the quality section. You can see that there's a big difference in credit usage between fast and quality. That's why I'll leave it on fast. Now, I'll click generate and wait for my video to be created. The time it takes depends on how busy the site and servers are, and it can take about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll wait for my video to be ready. I've created two videos. I think we need to be careful with the prompts and image selection. It didn't create the video with the same precision, but by writing a good prompt, we can get high quality videos from it. Here's my first video. It might be a little low quality in terms of CGI technology, but look at the rotation of the shoe, it did a really great job making it 3D. You can see my second video here. I really liked it, it did a great job and I love the rotation of the shoe. You can download and save it from here. From this section, you can also add sound and music. And from here, you can post it. You can write any text you want, add tags, and then post it. It gives you 10 credits for each post you publish daily. I recommend doing this every day to earn more credits. You can publish two posts a day to get 20 credits. You can also get a specific amount of credits for following and commenting on posts. Now, I'll go back and show you how you can get credits again by liking or commenting. I've liked an image here and left a comment on it. In this section, you can see the prompt that was used to create this image, and you can use it yourself. As you can see, you can use this tool to generate images and videos, as well as use ComfyUI. 
People who have used other tools before know that by connecting images and writing prompts, they can get what they want. You can also get a workout plan for yourself. I've introduced a separate, easy-to-use tool in another video that's suitable for your age and personality. The link is up here. Now, I'll move on to a unique feature that very few sites have, creating uncensored or less censored images. I'll click on Create Image and we'll go to this page. I'll write my prompt with the same previous settings. A female swimmer in the pool, ready to dive, curvy body. I'll click Generate with the same settings and wait for my image to be created. I want two images to be generated, so I'll click Generate one more time. I'll wait for the images to be created. Here's my first image, as you can see. It's done really well. Even the refraction of light in the water is shown in an interesting way. My second image is also ready. Since it's an uncensored image, I won't open it, but you can create it yourself and see the result. Well, my dear friends, I'm glad you stayed with me until the end of the video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, take care of yourselves. Goodbye, everyone.